Look what I pick up at a local drugstore. It's a hair dye by L'Oreal and it's called Colorista. So this is a hair dye that's apparently for a temporary period and it includes a lot of colors in the range but of course I chose pink because I love pink. And for this range, it's only good for, I don't know, yeah, for highlighted blonde hair and it's very obvious that for my hair, it's not that color. However, I did a balayage late last August and my ends are pretty light. So I hope the effect is going to show through and this video will help you decide whether it's worth to pick up this product or not. So I'm filming in my restroom and I've, as you can see, I've put the newspapers all over the counter just to prevent it from staining. And in the box, we can see that there's a tube. So this color is called Hex Paint 200 and it comes with the brush. And I don't know why they gave me so many gloves, but I hope I can use them all. Or if I can't finish using it, I'll keep it for the next dye job. And then it comes with the instruction sheet. Do's and don'ts. So these are the colors that are available and there's a peach, pink, soft pink, purple. But I chose pink, I believe. There's two kinds of pink. Um, and then you can customize your color. And it apparently doesn't work with the pink. There's no mixer uh, included in the box. And these are the steps. First, I'm gonna wash my hair and then follow these steps, which you will see throughout the video. I'll go for an um, ombre look probably because my bleached ends are at the end. So if you're curious to see how this looks like, continue watching! So I just washed my hair and now I am towel drying it because that's what it says in step one. But from my experience, I thought hair dyeing was doing it on dry hair. So I guess it's a little bit different if it's a temporary dye. I don't know. But it's been ages since I dyed my own hair. I usually go to a salon because I'm pretty afraid like what would happen to it. But since this is not a permanent dye, I'm not as scared, so let's see. And from what I've heard, on Asian hair, it doesn't work as well as much as on Caucasian hair, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna divide my hair into three sections, like one, two, and then I will leave the bottom one down below. So it's easier for me to color my hair. my hair out to make sure there are no tangled ends for the bottom part at least. I'm gonna get this brush and the tube is here. Oops, here. Look at this. <laughs> it's a color. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush. Basically they suggested to put it on a bowl too but I'm too lazy. So there. I'm just gonna give it a shot. This. I'm just gonna keep brushing the pink on my hair. I'm gonna do it all over my bleached ends. So this is how it's gonna go for the rest of the session. You can see it's, I don't know if it's blending in, but I'll show you. I assume I have to put more because it's not really covering all of my ends. And I gave up on the brush halfway because I figured it took too much time and effort for a semi-permanent dye. So I basically just did the lazy way and just squirted a lot of color in my gloved hand and just put strands, bunches of hair actually, and just sort of massaged it in my hair. Tangled and gross. I'll figure it out later, like how to comb it and stuff. The instruction did not say not to put conditioner, so I hopefully will make the condition of my hair better because it's really dry since I did my bleaching for the balayage last year. After I'm done with putting the hair color, I have to wait 20 minutes and I have to wash the color off and I'll be back after you. See ya. So this is my pink hair and this is a close up. Uh, here you go. So as you can see, it's not light pink, but more of hot pink, which I don't mind. Like any color change on my hair is like, hallelujah, totally go for it. So there you have it. This is Insta Color in shade 002 pink. Um, I'll show you my back view. So hopefully it's clear and put them off. 
forward. Okay, there you go. I have no idea how this looks like till later when I'm gonna edit my video, so hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna turn around and... So do I recommend Colorista? Yes, I do. Only if your hair is bleached. If it's dark, like at the top of my head, the color won't show through, it won't absorb it because again, this is semi-permanent. It's not as strong as other hair dyes. There's no ammonia or anything like that. It's a safe way to try different colors that's out of your comfort zone. So anyways, pick out this product if you see in your local drugstore and have fun. Hopefully this video is helpful for you in deciding whether you're gonna get color restart or not. And thank you again very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.